Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus July 26, 2022. The moon continues its transit of your sector of communications and connections for much of the day. You're in an upbeat frame of mind. There can be some feelings of being scattered or undirected now, but overall, this is a good time for putting your learning something new and exploring your options. Fortunately, Good energy is with you to better yourself and connect with someone special. Later today, you crave more downtime as the moon moves into your solar fourth house for a stay of over two days. It's a good time of the month to center yourself sometimes, playing it safe and stepping into your comfort zone is most useful. There has to be a very good reason why you haven't been able to be honest with someone close to you. This is being highlighted today by the planetary configuration. There is a good reason why you may have felt that you can't speak openly, but if you are to be happy, you need to be able to talk about what is stopping you from being completely truthful. Work through your frustrations today in a healthy manner. You could be peeved about something at work, like a comment made about you or an annoying interaction with someone that you work with when the moon in Cancer squares Mars in Aries. But instead of letting your frustration simmer, you can address what is bothering you to avoid holding any unnecessary grudges. Tone, turf, and timing are crucial to mediating any conflict with a coworker or client. You should consider how you will address your issues so that you can appropriately express your feelings. Have you been rather gullible lately? If you've had a tendency to trust almost everything you hear, chances are you have been. Generally you have a sharp mind and you're not easily fooled but everyone can be tricked from time to time. Take time today to think through the trust you've extended recently and to whom. Check things out carefully to prevent being used or hurt. You are full of energy and other people are carried away with it. You feel like going out and having fun. Who could say no to that? It will be easy to encourage others to participate if you end up on the town on your own, which is unlikely but possible you'll have no trouble finding company. Someone is totally checking you out. From across the art gallery, the cafeteria, or the stadium, you've inspired a secret admirer. If they come forward, reciprocate. If they stay in the shadows, just stay open to the possibilities. Be prepared for love to become a more permanent feature, you don't have to do much to get yourself noticed. Your secret is to simply be yourself, even if sometimes you feel a little uncertain. What matters is you're prepared for any eventuality, it's in the most unexpected of places your dream lover can appear. At first glance, everything is going just fine. You have a lot of energy, and people put their trust in you. However, the time has come to change directions, and to take a second look at your strategies. There are probably certain things you need to improve in some of the projects you started recently, but there is no hurry. Your wonderful ability to bounce back is going to help you a lot. With the presence of the fun-loving vibration in the air today you are sure to feel energetic and raring to experience all you can. It might be that you don't get out as much as possible. All the books in the world cannot compensate for first-hand knowledge. This vibration is perfect for motivating you to try something unusual, and often with other people. It can be very encouraging of social interaction as well. Keep your mind and heart open to all that comes your way. As the Sun, Mercury and the Dwarf Planet series settle into their early days in your home and family sector, there is little if any urgency and instead, a chance to get your bearings as the cosmic focus shifts onto things close to home for the first time this year. It is the Moon's return later in the week and the new Moon this will create that will energize things, with a chance until then to focus more on observing. Meanwhile with Mercury, the planet of communication in his first and only week here and the moon returning to your communication sector today, this is a chance to get the communication lines open. Eight days after Venus, the planet of love returned to your communication sector, she is joined by the moon. It was returning to find the sun and Mercury, the planet of communication here that gave Venus a head start and while they have both left, the moon returns to give her mission to give your heart and your relationships a voice another boost. Our eyes in the sky.
Investing money today can reap big returns and dividends. It's also a great day to connect with those you haven't spoken to in quite some time. If you're single, pay attention to the people you meet or engage with today. They could play an important role in your future. Embrace the positivity and good vibes. Today is a pleasant day, which is a nice change from all the cosmic chaos of last week. There's some powerful energy fueling your ambition and driving you to get a lot done today, but power struggles are unavoidable during the difficult Moon, Mars, and Pluto Cardinal T-square. If you can feel the tension building between you and someone else who also wants the leadership role you're intent on playing, it's going to come to a head at some point. And when it all blows up in your face, it's not going to be pretty. You might want to have an alternate plan ready in case your authority is successfully challenged. After a brief void of course period, the moon enters playful Leo, helping diffuse some of the more difficult cosmic energy from earlier. Luckily, you should be able to forget about some of the day's tenser moments as you play with your kids or go out dancing with friends. Being the center of attention is your main goal now, and whether it's adoring affection from a lover or all eyes on you on the dance floor, you're happy to soak up the happiness that being in the spotlight offers you now. Regardless, we will confront psychological material at this time, and we are offered protection to this end so we might understand our inner workings and unconscious motivations without getting overwhelmed. Following this connection, the moon falls into a void lasting into the early evening. Use this time for reflection. We might think we are living in the here and now, but how much of our personality and identity hinges on nostalgia? Are our thoughts of what it means to be productive, tech-savvy, or eco-conscious actually rather inefficient and outdated? Under this influence we believe that it is our purpose, our mission, to help others modernize their lifestyles by encouraging them to think outside the box. There is freedom in liberating ourselves from old conditioning, and thankfully, others see our message as revolutionary and exciting, rather than disruptive. In the morning, the Cancer Moon trines Neptune in Pisces, stimulating our creative impulses. Ultimately, we get more from rest than from exertion now. When we allow ourselves to relax, we gain the ability to tune into serendipity and thereby develop greater trust in our intuition. We can use this influence to practice divination techniques, such as reading tea leaves, tarot, or scrying. Looking to our astrological charts can also be revelatory, not because we are seeking answers, but because we are open to receiving insights from the universe. Late in the morning, the moon squares off with Mars and Aries, provoking tension. Our emotional needs and desires conflict at this time, creating an internal battle of wills. We risk taking our frustrations out on anyone who happens to get in our way. Obviously, this is a poor use of our energy, which can be much better applied to self-examination. Otherwise, we can get our angst out through physical activity, but should avoid competitive sports as we could accidentally injure ourselves or another when we are simply attempting to face a challenge courageously. 